Hello, my name is Vinicius Sanger and I'm going to talk about Java and Internet of Things. If we look at the Java history 10 or 15 years ago, we can see that Java uh, is always uh, with new types of devices like Star 7, maybe the first tablet of the world, or uh, the Java Ring, or we have even the Sunspot for prototyping and doing crazy stuff with Java ME. So, that time the internet was all about people and devices and facilities for people, not for things. So we have the industry working on personal devices like tablets and especially cell phones. And the companies, they, they, they were looking for enterprise solutions like business to business, SOA, integration and things like that. So uh, now we have Internet of Things as a big and great reality all around the world and Java is very prepared for that because we have 15 years of collaborative development with companies and experts and JCP work, the great JCP work. And Java, we have a lot of tools, uh, open source tools, uh, testing environments, and a lot of reliability uh, with big companies, big banks using in different types of business. And Java is real multi-platform because Java was created to, to be operational system independent from the hardware, from the type of processor. So it's a big advantage for Internet of Things. With Java Embedded Platform, we can have very small devices to single board computer devices running Java. We have Java Card, Java ME Embedded, we have Java TV, we have Java SE Embedded for uh, a com computer with more memory and more CPU, and we even have a version of Java EE for uh, small computers called Java Embedded Suite. But for this set of video, we are going to talk just about Java ME Embedded and Java SE Embedded. Java ME Embedded uh, is a platform to small devices with very small amount of memory and for headless application without any kind of user interface. And you can run Java ME in microcontrollers with real-time operational systems or minimal operational systems. And Java ME is used all around the world to make uh, wireless modules for measurement, smart metering, e-health, and many different types of machine-to-machine, -machine, like cars, uh, are running uh, Java ME Embedded. Java ME Embedded is not anymore just about phones. We have a real uh, platform for prototyping solutions with 3G connection like this Gemalto concept board is a very nice board for prototyping solutions using Java ME and 3G connection. We have even Raspberry Pi running Java ME embedded. And for uh, bigger computers like Raspberry Pi, Beagle, Bone Black and other uh, we have Java C embedded. Java C embedded is the same Java that you uh, used to use in your laptop, uh, but uh, you can run in devices, uh, small computers, and you have JavaFX support, and you have a big set of ARM family supporting Java C embedded. And the big advantage is that you don't need any specific knowledge to be an embedded developer. So you can use your regular Java knowledge to write embedded applications using Java SE Embedded and all the tools around the Java SE also. So we can run Java SE very well on Raspberry Pi with nice uh, graphics support. You can create amazing uh, graphical user interface using JavaFX. It's very well optimized uh, by Oracle. So we can do many different types of projects, powerful prototypes using Raspberry Pi and Java. 
and you can even run Java SE embedded in LIGO EV3, the new version of uh, LIGO Robotics platform. You can install a JVM and, and run a Java SE embedded in this nice uh, robotics platform. So with Java, we can have an end-to-end -end solution and we can use Java in all the layers of our architecture. Like we have this uh, architecture uh, strategy and from the gathering of the data from the sensor, enriching, streaming, managing, uh, storing and even processing the business intelligence, we can use Java in all these layers of process. So let's go to action. If you want to download the Java uh, embedded platform as the case, just go to this URL or click here. In the next video, we are going to talk about Raspberry Pi. So, see you.